Number 5. What is the Baghdad Battery? Discovered in 1936 near Baghdad, it's a 2,000-year-old terracotta pot containing a copper cylinder and an iron rod. It looks surprisingly like a modern battery cell. But was it? Number 4. How could it work? If the jar was filled with an acidic liquid, like vinegar or grape juice, an electrochemical reaction would occur between the copper and iron, generating a small electric current around 1 volt. It's a simple, yet effective, galvanic cell. Number 3. What was it for? Theories range from electroplating gold onto silver to use in religious rituals for a tingling, divine sensation. Some even suggest it was used for ancient medical treatments, a primitive form of electrotherapy. Number 2. The Skeptic's View Many archaeologists argue it's just a storage vessel for sacred scrolls. They point out the lack of wires or any other electrical equipment found nearby. The battery components could just be coincidental. Number 1. The Verdict while an asterisk and asterisk produce electricity, there's no solid proof it was ever used that way. 